Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining us for this chat about reusables in the bathroom. So we are all dealing with the repercussions of the coronavirus and one of the things that has happened is that there is legit a toilet paper crisis here in the U.S. You go to the grocery store and the shelves are empty and if you are thirsties we are actually we're originally a cloth diapering company however we have a lot of other reusable products that we think would be helpful for you guys and actually this isn't even about thirsties products this is about the reusable community sharing our knowledge and our know-how with all of you mainstream folks so that you have tools to do what you gotta do in this crisis here. So, um, first things first is this is, if you have had anyone complaining about not being able to find toilet paper, please share this live with them. Um, you can share it to your Facebook profile. You can share, once we get this posted on YouTube, you can share it on YouTube. But let's talk about how to use, how to go basically paperless in the bathroom. Okay, so we're gonna talk about what you need. We're gonna talk about how to use it. And yeah, I'm probably gonna blush during this live, but I'll do my best. <laughs> And then we're going to talk about how to wash everything. Okay, so first things first, what do you need? Is roughly, if you're going completely paperless in your bathroom, a good kind of rule of thumb is to have 12 dozen, or to have 12 wipes, a dozen wipes per person in your household. Now, if we just did Thirsty's um, just did a live with Jen from Spray Pal over on Instagram. So if you want to see Jen's wonderful face, um, go go over to our Instagram and watch that. But one point that Jen made is that it really is helpful to have more wipes if you have girls in your family. So that's another thing to think through. So for my family of four, I have myself and a daughter and then my husband and a son. So I would aim to have about 50 wipes for our whole family, okay? So, so glad I used cloth this time. Told my husband, if we run out of TP, we're going family cloth. Yeah, well, or like even now, one of the things that you need to keep in mind, especially for the ladies here, is that you don't have to go all in all at once. Like for me, for a long time, I only used cloth wipes for when I went number one. Um, kind of the saying in my house goes, paper is for poop. And right now, like that's kind of how we're operating. Although I've got to say, you will be so proud of me, everyone. I have gone completely paperless in the bathroom this week to prepare for this live. I was saying, you know, if I'm gonna be talking about using reusables in the bathroom, I need to do it myself. So, zero toilet paper for me this week, just for you, just saying. All right, so you'll need roughly a dozen per person. What else do you need? You're going to need a place to store your clean wipes, and I'll show you my setup in our bathroom in a bit our clean wipes, as well as you need a place to put your dirty wipes. So here, this is, for all you non-cloth diapering folks, this is a wet bag. It's basically just a bag that's lined with waterproof material. And Jen was saying that this is so convenient with the strap here, because you can just hang this on where your toilet paper roll would have gone if you're completely out, right? But you, you don't even have to have a fancy wet bag, guys. I mean, a bucket by your toilet would work just fine, okay? Necessity is the mother of invention, so get creative. With your cloth wipes, 
truth be told, actually, Thirsties, we are actually running fairly low on these, and we're trying to crank these out, but our warehouse has slowed down because we're trying to let our workers come um, in shifts so that they're either working just two people at a time so that we don't spread, you know, slow the spread, flatten the curve. So if you can't find, first off, there are lots of Thirsty's retailers that probably still have these in stock. So you can check that there. Also, basically think about your home. Any, especially if it's 100% cotton, any absorbent material that you have in your house can be made into a cloth wipe okay so you would just measure out what you think would be a good size cut into squares old t-shirts old towels receiving blankets swaddle blankets even jen from spray pal was saying like you know all of those socks that like have lost their pair use a sock i mean really guys this is just just get um just get creative. No, they don't need to soak anything in a bucket. I'll talk about that, okay? Um, so make your own wipes. I do recommend if you are making, especially out of like a thin t-shirt, I would make them two-ply. So this is Thirsty's Organic Cotton Wipe and it's two-ply and then stitched around. And I'll put a couple of videos on, you just need to do a simple whip stitch with a needle and thread. And quite frankly, you know, we might have extra time to be crafty since we're all needing to stay home. So make a bunch of wipes for yourself. So I'll have instructions for DIY cloth wipes, but you need about 12 per person. Place to store the dirty, place to store the clean. Now, another thing that would be nice to have and this is gonna kind of transition us into the how to use. Another thing that's nice to have is something that for number twos, it really is helpful if you wipe with water first. So like the nicest product for that would be a bidet, okay? Cause you can then um, control like the temperature and all of that, but chances are, if you've had a baby, you probably were sent home with a little peri bottle that, you know, you squeeze and then it sprays you. That could be a way to help. Or you can have a diaper sprayer. Um, and that's actually, let me go and we're going to take a field trip to my bathroom and I'm going to show you what I've been doing and how I've been doing it. So let's go on a little field trip, guys. All right, so here is my bathroom. Da 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 da. All right, so you can see I have a place to store my wipes, and actually, what really helps me is having them right here. And so we still have toilet paper in my house, but so that I don't forget and just zone out and use paper, I put a cloth wipe on top of it. So I have to think and actually make that choice. So I have my diaper sprayer here and what you do, it hooks up here and this is how you turn on the water. So it goes to the hose and this, you can control the pressure of it here, okay? So when you're first doing this, test the pressure on like your toilet first, okay? Before like going ah, full blast and getting yourself. So you just spray down and really guys, like this, no joke, it, it does it, right? It totally clear. So you spray yourself, you wipe with water, whether with a sprayer or if you're using a sprayer, be sure to turn off the, the water and actually you can even release the extra water there so you don't have water held in the, in the hose there, okay? You do that and then just take a cloth wipe and pat dry and then you can see my setup with a wet bag. I just have a command hook and then my wet bag here or you could even just have a, a bucket, whatever it is. All right, and guys, look, look at my cloth wipe. So I've got a couple of different brands. I think this is a buttons wipe. 
I've got Thirsty's older wipes. Even like old baby washcloths, y'all. That works, okay? Um, so there you go. Um, that that is my my setup there. Welcome. Welcome to my bathroom, guys. I'm close and personal with Laura from Thirsties. Okay, so as you can see, like having a way to wipe with water first really does make it. I actually kind of, well, let me get this set up, guys. I actually kind of prefer it now that I've I've done it. Um, I prefer, it, it's actually kind of refreshing. The first time I did it, I did not test the pressure on the toilet first. I just like went for it and I was like, wow! My, my husband was like, what is going on in there? I'm like, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Just doing some research for Thirsty Live. <laughs> so, um, test your test the pressure on the toilet first before just going into it. But yeah, wipe with water, dry with some kind of wipe, and then put that wherever you're storing it—a bucket, a wet bag, wherever. Okay. Now let's talk about how to wash this and the thing that you, we want to be careful here anything involving human waste is you need to wash properly you need to let make sure that the the dirty wipes aren't sitting too long because this kind of mess can grow e coli and so let's just be honest about that and be so you got to be smart and um yeah, just know what you're doing when you're washing these. So first things first, don't let um, praying part. Yes, yeah, spraying takes care of the the particles. Let's talk about that. Actually, I I'm glad you asked, Annalise. So let's say you did not wipe with water first, and you just went in with your cloth wipe. You're gonna have tire tracks, right? On this and the saying goes poop belongs in the potty so if you have a really messy wipe poop should not go like full solid poop should not go in your washing machine no no don't do it so what happens hang on to your wipe okay flush all of your business down so you have a nice fresh bowl and then you know did you notice that I had rubber gloves in there yeah, rubber gloves in the bathroom is really helpful. So put on your rubber gloves and just dunk and swish your tire tracked super dirty wipe, okay? Clean that off, wring it out so that it's not sopping wet, and then put it in wherever you're storing, okay? So let's say that you've got a, a bunch of wipes and really, guys, you want to wash, you don't want to go much more than two days of letting these sit. And so you're going to have smaller loads because this is not a whole lot of bulk. So when you're washing these, you can wash them with anything that you can wash on hot. So your underwear, socks, hand towels, things like that, okay? Um, or, yeah, spray, right, of course. Um, so you're going to want to bulk up your load so that you'll have enough water in your machine to fully cover this, whatever load you have in there. And you want to have enough bulk in there so that while these are washing, they're going to agitate together. If you have too much water in, they're not going to rub against each other and actually get clean. Okay, so make sure that you have a good load size, all right? Then what you want to do is, and this is the, the regular cloth diapering wash routine, but for folks who have never done cloth, what you want to do with this kind of really dirty laundry is you want to do a pre-wash first. Personally, I do mine on warm with a little bit of detergent. And what that does is that just gives a good final rinse of your dirty wipes so that and it flushes it out 
so that then the next step is your hot wash with your recommended amount of detergent per your load size. So read your detergent directions, read your washing machines directions so you know what your load size is and how much detergent to add, okay? And that hot wash, now that you've done your pre-wash, what that does is when you're now onto your hot wash, the detergent is now going to be working on cleaning the material that is in your washing machine. If you skip your pre-wash, what's going to happen is the detergent is going to be washing literally the water and your wipe. So do the pre-wash first. And for, on my machine, that's just a quick wash. Okay, I have a quick cycle on my machine. It doesn't have to be long, the pre-wash cycle. But the wash cycle, that has to be on heavy. So it's gonna be a longer, longer cycle and hot, okay? None of this warm business, hot water, all right? That's gonna help. Um, we will talk about when to use bleach. If you, Annalise was asking that question, if you have rinse these guys if you're doing a pre-wash and you haven't let them sit a long time you really don't need to use bleach on a regular basis I would use bleach like say if someone in my household has a gastrointestinal virus okay then you would depending on how big your load is if it's a small load Probably you'd only need like a tablespoon of bleach to add to your hot wash. If it's a larger load that you're doing, a quarter cup, okay? But you really shouldn't have to use bleach every time. But again, this is just this is just a wipe. So bleaching it is not going to hurt it. When we're talking about washing cloth diapers, we don't recommend using bleach unless like absolutely necessary because bleach is going to break down the elastics of of your cloth the waterproofing of your cloth diaper but when you're talking about cloth wipes like it's yeah that's not as much of a concern so bleach is um going to bleach is gonna gonna help you know i would water uh hot water deactivates bleach do bleach and clove oh you know i would need to look that up so if if that's true you could do a bleach like a bleach wash and then the thing about when you're using bleach is you want to be sure that you've rinsed that all the way because that can burn your skin if you haven't fully rinsed the bleach okay so that that do a pre-wash do a hot wash with the full amount of detergent per the load size that you're washing and then you may or may not need an extra rinse i think my spin rinse cycle instead of like a full extra rinse um but when these come out of your machine you should be able to smell them and there should be zero bathroom smell in these it should just smell like wet fabric or if you have some kind of scent in your detergent, it should just smell, you know, like your detergent. Although that is one thing for using unscented detergent is that you can smell this kind of laundry and actually get a realistic reading on how like clean it is. Rather than having scents cover up something, just a little food for thought there, okay? So that is how to wash it. And then, you know, just put it in the dryer and dry them. But it really, like I said at the beginning, I've gone paperless all this week for you guys to get ready for this talk. And it's really not, it's not that gross, especially if you wipe poop with water first. So essentially you're just drying yourself. You're not actually wiping poop with a wipe. Okay, wipe with water first, that really, really helps. Or another thing I said is ease into it. If you've got ladies in your household and you just do cloth wipes for number one, absolutely. And yes, you can, if you're using cloth wipes, you can absolutely wash them with your cloth diapers. It's basically the same routine as with your cloth diapers.
okay? So get a dozen per person in your household. Have a place to store the clean. Have a place to store the dirty. Maybe think about investing in something that'll help you wipe poop with water first. And then don't let them sit too long between washing and wash them pre-wash warm, hot wash with the recommended amount of detergent. Smell it, make sure it's good, put it in the dryer and you're ready to go. So hopefully this was a helpful um, video for you guys. If it was helpful and especially if you know someone that is in, I mean, we kind of giggle about not having enough toilet paper, but like that is an inconvenience. That is unpleasant. And I mean, especially if people are like, I don't have anything to maybe I need to like start like making pulp out of newspapers to wipe with. You probably have some old t-shirts that you were going to get rid of anyway. Cut them up, make some DIY cloth wipes so you have something to get through this corona crisis all right so guys thank you so much for joining us do do take care of yourself be safe be smart and we are thinking about everyone who has been impacted by this pandemic so thank you guys for being here and for being such a positive community continue to take care of each other and we will see you guys around on social media. I'm Laura from Thirsties, signing off.